My father took films of me as a baby in the 1930s, and uh, this was to show to my mother, who had been in hospital after I was born. And he also went around uh, to different parts of the country taking the same sort of uh, film in colour, which was unusual. He did the job well, and I, they're still quite impressive even after all these years. People used to go to see the Blackpool Illuminations, and uh, in particular, he, he shows a view of um, Blackpool from the tower going up, uh, which is quite spectacular. The Ferny Hunt is quite varied. You've not got the gruesome scenes of the fox being killed, more so a view of the countryside, and uh, there's an old pub, The Crown, at Great Glen, which is still there today and leisurely drives down some of the country lanes and watching the horses jump over the hedges and the, and the meeting of the, well, you know, the hunt, hunt followers, all, all dressed in the finest regalia. You know, quite, quite interesting to see. I think the big different one is in Blackpool. I think he was with relatives of my mother, you know, brothers and sisters, and they all went on there after a weekend now. So it was just you know, having a daredevil ride for the mum to see, you know, and I think that, that's what he did it for. The films are now becoming more important to me to see. I, I can fully appreciate you know, what record my father left of, of all the family in the past. It's also a record of old Leicester life when it was more leisurely. I, th I think it's very pleasant to see a different pace of life. I think this collection is important for two reasons, and my, my own obviously for a record of my family life. And I think when, when the contents have been examined, there's a lot of footage uh, which, in colour, is quite unique. But I still have another 3,000 feet of film which has not been looked at in detail. I'm expecting some development on this in the near future.